The electromagnetic migration of the Earth's North Pole from one month to another represents what happens in the sky Nibiru its movement and acceleration are being monitored in the sky the Earth's North Pole corresponds to the North Pole of Nibiru the logical result of this interaction is a continuous movement of the pole of least mass that of the Earth in other words the migration of the pole of the Earth travels to achieve field stability and this forms a totally negative state in relation to the field of the earth weakening it and compressing it even more this situation results in an excessive storage of energy warming of the climate and general alteration of the organic state of living beings and others for two months the average rate of migration was three seven miles and in the last month it was four miles and so far this month it is 4.3 miles the earth's magnetic field is now breaking at medium speeds but the frequency of flux in the earth's field is still relatively weak this explains the occurrence of violent deformations at these velocities without actual collapse at the same time the further we go in time the closer we get and consequently the chances of a field collapse have increased the accelerated decrease in the strength of the Earth's magnetic field accompanied with the rapid displacement of the poles has generated many theories regarding the possibility that we could be approaching a new inversion of the poles on Earth, there is also much speculation about its possible apocalyptic effects. For many, the rapid movement of the magnetic north pole of the Earth in the direction of Siberia indicates that we we are facing the end of time and that is not only catastrophic but a very reasonable theory when the north moves south it will not just disturb compasses the continents could shift back and forth causing much catastrophic damage through earthquakes and tsunamis wiping out most of life on Earth. But in an attempt to calm people down, scientists say that something so serious that it Endangers life on Earth is very unlikely to happen, but this is when things get scary because it is precisely what they would say in the face of an imminent catastrophe to avoid generating there is a worldwide panic. But I think that the best thing is to always remain calm, be alert and hope that once again that powerful invisible being that has always managed to save humanity is there once again to protect this species that, although it is very harmful, has always taken care of it for some reason that we all don't know.